This illustration deals with the sizing of the equipment grounding conductors. In accordance with NEC 250.122 and Table 250.122. Now notice this deals with the uh, Section 250.122 and Table 250.122 when we're selecting and sizing in an equipment grounding conductor based upon the size of the overcurrent device and other issues that may develop. Now, notice in the, the call-out, the call-out talks about the general rules of size and equipment grounding conductors, 250.122A. The size of the conductor, you know, it could be copper, aluminum, copper-clad aluminum conductors installed as equipment grounding conductors shall not be less than given in Table 250.122 based upon the overcurrent protection device. Now, in the service equipment, we have a 40-amp overcurrent protection device. Based upon a 40-amp overcurrent protection device, a number 10 equipment grounding conductor must be selected and used per Table 250.122. Now, that is simply uh, what this illustration, 16-113A, uh, is illustrating uh, how to size an equipment grounding conductor when an overcurrent device is ahead of the circuit conductors. And, of course, this is load side. Now, in comparison, right quick, and we'll do this quickly, the overcurrent uh, device is not ahead of the service entrance conductors, as you see in the illustration. Those service conductors do not have an overcurrent device ahead of them. So again, we'll use the four alt, so we'll keep on the same page and track. But a number of uh, four alt conductors, say, requires a number two grounded conductor that you see in the service equipment and a main bonding jumper uh, would be, if it was a conductor, number two, and the grounding electrode conductor would be number two if it connected to structural steel or a metal water pipe in, in accordance with 250.66, and naturally the grounding conductor, the main bonding jumper, would be size per table 250.102C1. Now that's a good illustration of supply-side grounding and load side grounding, and that's what this uh, figure 116-113A is illustrating.